Every time we take our baby to the pediatrician, he measures weight, height, and head circumference. What we usually don't notice is that the head grows much faster than the body, especially in the first months, reaching almost 90% of adult cranial size at two years of age. This happens because there is a brain growing very fast inside, literally pushing the bones out. At this time, those lines, known as cranial sutures, separate the bones of our baby's head. Most of them will close between the first and second year of age, but when they close too early, it's called craniosynostosis. This has to be treated by surgery, but this is not our focus today. The so-called positional or deformational cranial asymmetries are far more common compared to craniosynostosis. But how do they happen? Today, all parents are advised to place their babies on their back to go to sleep. In addition to this, babies spend a lot of time in the stroller, the car seat, and the crib, keeping the pressure on the same spot, almost 24 hours a day in the first two months of life. This happens precisely at the time the baby's head is growing the fastest. The head is constantly resting in the same position, preventing this area of the head from growing evenly with the rest of the head leading to an uneven or asymmetrical head shape. Depending on the place this pressure occurs, we can find a variety of unusual head shapes. If the baby likes to turn the head always to the same side, this hooked position may lead to an asymmetry starting at the back of the head and progressively twisting the whole cranium or skull. If the limitation is more central to the back of the head, the shape tends to be more flattened at this area with compensating widening of the skull. So the most common deformational asymmetries are 1. Plagiocephaly, where we can see full misalignment of the head, usually including an ear shift. And 2. Brachiocephaly, where the shortening of the head is evident with posterior flattening and increased width. The same process can also begin inside the uterus, and some of the major intrauterine risk factors are multiple births, oligohydromnius, premature pelvic positioning, and others. But the mechanics are always the same, prolonged pressure on one spot on a very fast-growing head. Besides the obvious and evident cosmetic concerns, these infants can also present with other functional repercussions usually related to the misalignment of the skull base and face. Any treatments intended to correct this kind of asymmetry will always be on two key points. 1. Prevent growth on the bossed areas. 2. Allow room for the flattened area to grow. The first attempt is usually repositioning maneuvers, which basically consist of teaching parents how to position the baby so the head is resting on the prominent region, avoiding contact on the areas of flattening. This works on younger infants, but as they get stronger and begin to roll, they no longer stay in the position we want them to stay in, and repositioning becomes less effective. This is where the cranial orthosis comes in. The helmet will precisely redirect future growth, holding the prominent areas, and providing space for the flattened areas to grow. It doesn't squeeze or hurt the head, it just holds the prominent areas with the same pressure as a hat. This animation shows how the helmet acts to gently reshape the baby's head. Again, the head will grow at the same rate, but the growth will be directed to the right areas, 
That's why one of the first things we showed was the head circumference growth curve. The best time to begin treatment is during the period at which the brain is growing the fastest, between three and six months. Delayed onset of treatment leads to a longer treatment and progressively more modest results. But it can still be effective up to 18 months of age, when the head growth slows down to a very slow rate. A precise assessment is critical for decision making in this process. There are specific measurements and indices that help us determine if the asymmetry is mild, moderate, or severe. These anthropomorphic measurements are obtained with outstanding precision with the Star Scanner, a cutting edge scanning device using 3D laser technology with no radiation, which quickly and safely scans the baby's head, allowing the practitioner to immediately evaluate the detailed cranial analysis report to determine the severity of the asymmetry. With this data in hand, the medical specialist has everything they need to make an informed decision and inform parents about the best treatment options for their baby. If the helmet is indicated, the same scan is used to manufacture the custom-made orthosis.